this is Abel from uh, the Democratic Republic of Congo, and we are. I'm so happy to be presenting to you this uh, talk, where we will be learning more about the experience of uh, the Wikimedia, the Wikimedia community in the Democratic Republic of Congo. So, the title, as you see, you can see there, it's building a community, a Wikimedia community, an example of. Uh, Wikimedians of Democratic Republic of Congo user group. So the goal here is just to share experience uh, so that it can help help you start with uh, start your own Wikimedia like uh, group or community. Or if you have one already, uh, it can uh, help you uh, move forward. So there are, there are main things that we're gonna learn in this talk. So I think. Uh, I'm so happy that you joined the session and uh, we are about to start. <clears throat> oh, before I start, this is uh, uh, a, a, a proverb, an African proverb that I love so much. Uh, as you can see, alone we can go faster, together we go further. Sometimes when you, you, you wake up, you alone, and you can you can make this decision very easily and you can decide wherever you want to go and you think that you're moving so fast and faster and uh, everything is, is going well. But as you can see in this proverb, it's better to move with community when you two three four people uh, persons working on a project it's better than being alone so this uh, african proverb is uh, very important for us as we are working in a community so what is it uh, in this talk we are discussing about the community we want to see exactly uh, an example of uh, the community first of all Wikimedia is a community-driven project, and we all know that. It's the encyclopedia, encyclopedia are built with the community all over the world, so it's a community project. And it's very important that we keep this in mind. And the success of Wikipedia depends on its community. It's very important. If Wikipedia is what it is today, it is because of the amazing community surrounding it. It's an amazing community from all over the world trying to make it happen, trying to make it something great. So it's very important for us to, to see it. It's very important for us to, to, to understand and to value the community. It's very, very important. So let's see some statistics, some statistics from uh, Wikipedia media wikipedia exactly uh, today we have uh, uh, around 300 languages version of wikipedia in uh, uh, french in english uh, lingala in uh, uh, swahili in uh, so many languages that you can imagine so it's a very very important that we we notice that it's a big community project. And so far we have more than uh, 30 million articles. So many, so many. This is what the community is doing so far. So many. And uh, uh, visitors, we have more than 500 visitors, more than 5 million, I would like to say, visitors a month. It's not so easy. It's a very, very huge community. And who are editing Wikipedia? Those amazing people who are making Wikipedia be, uh, who are making Wikipedia what it is today. More than a hundred thousand of people a day, I say a day, more than a hundred thousand of people trying to to build Wikipedia, to make it what you 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 are saying, to 
to try to, to do or to construct the project. And so far, per day, we have 25,000 articles created. So amazing. Can you imagine those stats, this statistic of the, the project and all about the community around it? So let's discuss what is a community at all. What is a community? Uh, I'd, I'd like just to give you a simple definition. I don't like to take a, a, a very complicated definition. Just very basically, very basically, uh, my understanding of a community is uh, a group, a set of individuals, at least two people who share the same vision. That is what I can call the community. A set of at least two people sharing the same vision, the same uh, uh, goal. That is what we call community. And this is an example, a perfect example of Wikimedia community in Africa. There you can see the uh, green. You have uh, what you, you, we call user group, affiliate recognized by the Wikimedia Foundation uh, as user group, as this. And then you have chapters. Unfortunately, until now, we only have one chapter from Africa. And uh, it is uh, in South Africa, as you can see uh, here on the map. So you have community uh, all around in DRC, uh, Uganda, and so many countries so far, Ghana, uh, Nigeria, and you, you've got some geographical community. So I know that there are so many other communities that you, can, you can't find there, but here I've just put community by country. In each country, we, if there is one community, and you can see that the, there is a need to build a a community in Africa, a community, Wikimedia communities in Africa, because uh, until now we don't have, we don't cover communities uh, in uh, Rwanda, Burundi, and so many other countries still don't have uh, uh, an official community. So it's very important that we help them create a Wikimedia uh, community in their own countries. So this is the, the goal of this talk you'll get inspiration, you'll get some advice that we use, you, you learn from our experience and you'll, you'll build your own Wikimedia-like community. Trust me, it will be amazing. So let's discuss about the Democratic Republic of Congo. <sighs> this is a dream come true, be became true. It was a dream to have a community like we had in uh, Cote d'Ivoire, like we had, uh, we have in uh, so many countries, uh, some countries I can say in Africa. So it was very important for me, for us, uh, I mean, uh, to 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 have a community, a strong community, a, an official Wikimedia community in the country. So what is the agenda so far? So far, uh, what we are going to discuss here is about the past. A little about the history of the community in the country. Where are we now? The present. We'll see what's uh, where we are, what we are able to do, what we have learned so far, all the, 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 the uh, all the way we took, what lessons we can learn, we can share, and the, I'll tell you what you can do and what you should avoid, and what's our future? What is the future? This is the structure, the little structure that uh, <clears throat> I want to discuss with you in uh, this uh, talk. So, history of DRC community. And let's start by, by this. It's very important to, to let you know the history. So, uh, when I was working on this, this uh, idea, this uh, project, this talk, and I, I was thinking, oh, what can I say? What is exactly the history of uh, Wikimedia community in the Democratic Republic of Congo? And I tried to figure out, I tried to think, I tried to, to, to move forward to see what happened so far. So I've uh, concluded that we can split 
the evolution of uh, the Wikimedia community in DRC in three main periods. Three main periods are uh, uh, what I, I found important to share with you. So the first one, pre to 2015, uh, pre to 2015, no, in, the, in this period, I can say there were just uh, some contribution, individual contribution, and some trainings uh, that I cannot even, uh, we can't still count. We don't, we don't have uh, so uh, more information, but I think that Wikimedia France and some other uh, institution tried to run some trainings, but still people were not able to gather. People couldn't uh, uh, concentrate their efforts to work together. So <clears throat> that's the, the period. And I, I, can, I can remember myself contributing using IP address because just when I, I went to internet, I see uh, when I, 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 as every user, I type something, a word on Google, hope I'm on Wikipedia and I see a bad on code, it did. So I say, okay, yeah, I can go there. I can click and I try to edit. Now nah, that was the, the period and everyone, everywhere try, uh, were, <clears throat> was trying to do so. Now comes uh, the second period. The second period, and uh, I, I, I think it's the, the, the very important period, 2015 and 2018, the very important period. Here, we got more trainings and community contributions. So here, people are working in a community and they were the need to coordinate efforts because we were trying to gather, to meet more of, very often and to say, okay, guys, let's do this together. Let, uh, let make our country visible on Wikipedia, on internet. It was very important. It was what we wanted. And uh, I think thanks to this period uh, of three years, we were able to do something. We were uh, able to reach out to people. And what happened? I, I was happy to see this uh, history. You can see here, uh, <clears throat> I am on the uh, discussion page of a user called uh, Benoit Rochon. He's, uh, a Wikimedian from Canada. So I reached out to him, say, okay, guys, guys, tell me, how can you help? How can we do to coordinate all efforts from a country or from a city? So he tried to give me some advice that, that was very important for me. And uh, he tried to, uh, to point me to Bashunda. Thank you, Bashunda, from, for your supports, as you can see the discussion that was here, we were seeking support from experienced users. We tried to reach out to people. Hey guys, can you help? Hey guys, can you tell us what we can do? Can you tell us how to call? And I, I, I was amazing. I can see some more Bashun that told me, do you speak English? Because he, he did ask some questions. So uh, I, I can say that the, the word like uh, uh, requirement said, okay, uh, <clears throat> what, what, uh, what's it? the first question, as you can see here, it, it is in French, I'm going to translate for you. Uh, première étape, uh, sorry, première étape, première question, combien vous êtes? How many are you? That is the first question Bashun that did ask to me. Deuxième question, the second question, avez-vous suffisamment le temps? Vous et votre groupe pour mener à bien cette mission. He asked about the time. Do you have a, a little time for that? Because it needs time, commitment for this. And the, the last question was, do you speak English? So uh, it was some uh, those uh, three questions from Bashunda. And uh, those questions helped enough. Uh, I think that today, I don't think that... Uh, English is uh, so important. I don't think so, but because today the foundation is trying to work uh, to work so hard on that about uh, the language because uh, not everyone can speak English. And then uh, uh, after working too much with the foundation for three or 
one year, I, I, I can notice that the, the language barrier, the English requirements is not an obligation. So people from French community, uh, don't be afraid. You can speak in French and the Wikimedia Foundation has so many people that can help for that. Apart from that, uh, we, we try to reach out to people, to invite people, hey, come, come on, join us and see what we are doing. We try to say, uh, here you can see uh, uh, on a, a discussion page from a user, uh, I, I, I found that this user was contributing too much to uh, the content from the country. Then I, I, I reached out and said, hey guys, uh, are you okay? Uh, can you join us to the, the, the movements? And then we try to discuss. So I think you can notice the, uh, two things here, two important things here. The first one, we seek support from those who can help. We try to go where we can to get uh, support. We go, we try to reach out to people on the discussion page. We try to ask questions. So you can see, we ask questions. And after having some kind of responses, some kind of answers, so we try also to reach out to people to join our movement. You see the, 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 these two important things. You reach out to people who might give you some advice, who might tell you, who might guide you. And after, after that, you also reach out or invite people to join you. Yes, it's, uh, it's better to have people, a, a small team with you so that you can start, but don't forget to invite other people that you can find on the way. So the last and the, <clears throat> the third point of uh, the history of the Democratic Republic of Congo user group is the creation of the user group with four members. Thank you uh, guys that helped to, to do this. And uh, among those uh, four persons, I can notice one woman who were with us. Uh, thank you, Valentin, for your support. Thank you, Eve uh, from Lubumbashi. Thank you, uh, Irene. Those persons and uh, myself, of course, had us in two, uh, 2018, we, we were able to structure the, the community to try to, to reach out to Wikimedia Foundation to ask for uh, recognition and uh, we discussed and so on. I think in November 2023, 20, uh, in November 23, we were recognized by the Wikimedia Foundation. Wow. She was amazing, as you can see. And that, that's about the, the little history. I, I know that there are so many things I could say, so many things I could, I could share with you, but uh, I gave the very important that, you, that can help you. So let's see, where are we now? Now, where are we? It's a very important question. Where are we now? This is about the present. I've talked about the past, and now I want to talk about the, the present. Where are we now? Yeah, we are still learning and growing. It's very important. We are still learning. We, we try still, we, we always try to reach out to people who can help us. Do you have a piece of advice to give us? We open, come and tell us, teach us, show us the way and we can grow. We are learning and we are growing. The community is so big today and uh, it's amazing. We are available in some other country, uh, cities, I mean, and it's very, very interesting. Uh, the next, uh, <laughs> I, I've just said that, uh, visible, uh, we are visible and all running activities in three main cities in the country. Kisangani, Lubumbashi, and Kinshasa. And we are trying to work hard in, uh, in a way to, to be available. We're gonna talk about in uh, the fu uh, future, in uh, the, work, the whole country. So uh, the last step uh, here, we are 
creating partnerships with organizations. So apart from Wikimedia Foundation, we are oceans, most national. So, so far, user group. So far, we so let's discuss about the lesson. What did we learn so far? It's very important to see this. What we, we were able to learn. Uh, I think there are two two things. The first thing is uh, the, there are two two things that uh, we learned so far. <clears throat> the first group of things, the, these are things you should do. These are things that I, I think the, uh, you can see this as uh, object uh, as advice this, this you can uh, take this as advice as inspiration to help you move uh, forward in your user group in your your creation so uh it is there is not at all in a uh, order i have just put some uh, uh, lessons we learned so far that were very important for us uh, first thing here I see, uh, as I, I, I've written here, surround yourself with good people. Yes, I know that finding good people might be very difficult. But remember, I said at the beginning, what is a community? You have uh, a common, uh, you share the same idea, the same vision. This is the community. So if you can find people that share the same idea with you, I think that these are good people for you. So work or start with available people. Don't wait for a golden people. Don't wait for, I don't know, someone to come from or heaven or whatever you want. No. Find people who are available and work with them. Because if you, see, you want to wait for uh, those uh, very brilliant, intelligent guys uh, from Harvard, from, uh, I don't know, uh, Sorbonne University to come and work with you, I'm sorry, it's not going to be that easy. You can remember, uh, as I show, uh, I, 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 I've shown you uh, some discussion I had with uh, Bashunda. He said about time commitment, so it's very important to to have people who are ready, to have people who are available. So uh, I don't think that you you need to find those people. You need to to work with those people instead of waiting, waiting, waiting for the right, waiting for the bright guy to come. Uh, next advice is learn. Don't forget to learn. You you can notice, as I said, for for us, we are still learning and we are growing. So learn and share. You learn something, you get something amazing, don't forget to share around you. And it's very important when I'm talking about learning because uh, it is a community. If you, uh, you have uh, uh, an opportunity to learn someone, try to make sure you share with your, your teammates, your friends, hey guys, I've, I've noticed that there is a training, a Wikipedia training somewhere. Do you have time to take it? It's very important. You learn and you try to share. You know something, try to share with your mate. Try to share with the people around you. Try to share with the world. Don't forget to motivate and encourage. It's a very important. Uh, it, won't be, it won't still be easy. Trust me, it won't still be easy. So you need motivation and you need to encourage. Motivate yourself. 
remember your goal why do you did you start a group why did you start a community stay motivated and try to motivate people sometimes people say okay i'm tired i want to leave try to motivate and don't forget to encourage you can find people doing some amazing thing encourage support them tell them what to do better so motivation and encouragement is are very important communicate with the words it's very very important communication so you need to uh today we are uh living in a world that where we can communicate we can reach to anyone in just a little second so don't forget to use communication channel that can help you be visible to the world because a long time ago we uh we found that we were not communicating so well with the world we were just trying to 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 write email emails for ourselves but for ourselves but not at all with the the world but Afterward, we said we we did change this, and uh, it was very important for us to communicate. And now uh, people try to know about us. Now people try to understand what we are doing, and so on. And uh, <clears throat> reach out to people to guide you and help you. It's very important to reach out to people to guide you and to help you for mentorship. It's very important. Be patient. Very, very important. Be patient with yourself. I've, I've talked too much about many things so far, but you need to be very, very patient because uh, it won't still be easy as you might think. It won't still be easy as you might uh, uh, expect. So be uh, very patient with yourself so that it can uh, you can you'll find the results of what you want so there are some uh, things that you should avoid because here i've, I've gave i've I've, uh, I've discussed too much about some piece of device uh, pieces of uh, some piece of uh, uh, notes or advice that you can use but here, there are things that you need to avoid if you want your community move forward. The first thing that I've noticed that is you should avoid to be the only guy to do everything. No, remember, it's a community project. It's a community, so everyone needs to be uh in the loop everyone needs to be in the project you you're not going to do everything you'll be tired my friends try to associate everyone try to share among you try to share tasks say guys can you do this can you try to do this and so on? because if you try to push everything on your head hey guys i'm I, i'm sorry you'll be tired so it's very important that you try to to show to avoid to do everything no it's not uh, uh, quite easy to do so uh, another thing is you should avoid not to uh, not trusting others It is a community, good people. So it's very important that you trust to people around you. It's very, very important. So don't forget to don't don't forget to trust your teammates. Don't forget to trust your friends. And so and so very, very important. And the last point uh, when I was thinking is uh, about. Uh, is about uh, uh, being condescending or imposing being condescending or imposing 
that that things <coughs> you should not uh, you should avoid I was saying Okay, I think uh, you can hear me well. And now to uh, discuss about the future. Then I'll discuss about our future and so on. So we have discussed so far about the a little history of uh, the group. And uh, <clears throat> we've seen the present, where we are now. And uh, some uh, amazing things that we learned so far uh, that was uh, very important, and that we tried to sh I tried to share with you what we learned so far, so that you can get inspiration. What worked for us, and I think it can also work for you. So now, what is the future? The future of uh, the user group uh, in the country. The first thing uh, we want is to be present and more visible in the whole country. This is what we want, to be visible in the whole TRC. Everywhere you go, they talk about Wikimedia DRC. That's what we are trying to work with uh, some guys. It's not that easy, but we are trying. We are trying. So uh, a future goal, uh, we need it. We need, when you travel everywhere in the country, when you speak, you reach out to someone and you say, hey, do you know Wikimedia DRC? Yes, it is what we want. And then uh, we need support, we need uh, patience, because uh, uh, I told you, patience is very important. And then uh, we try to trust each other, and little by little, we'll become big and big. Uh, another goal, future goal, is to be incorporated as uh, a national non-profit. We are already working on this, on bylaws and so on. Uh, we, at the beginning, we were trying to think of uh, just a local, a local city. But afterwards, we said no, as we are available in more than three uh, city cities already. So we need to do an incorporation of a national incorporation so that we can be uh, free to walk everywhere in the country. So we have to think about it, to work again hard. Uh, remember, it's important to, we need time to work on, but I think that uh, it's a very, it's a future, a future goal and a uh, Amazing community around in DRC. I want you to help so that we can be incorporated. Wikimedia can be available where you are. If you're in this talk, try to reach out. Uh, be available so that we can run some activities, so that we can make uh, Wikipedia, Wikimedia available in your city and uh, in the whole country. And the last... Uh, Amazing thing that we are thinking of is to organize a national or even a great leg wiki conference. So we'd like to have uh, something national, say wiki conference DLC, where we can try, we can invite people uh, from uh, many cities in the country, or we can wiki conference. I think that. I don't know if uh, people from Burundi are here or Rwanda because the Great, La Great Lake is uh, uh, Burundi, Rwanda, and Democratic Republic of Congo. So we'd like to have uh, a wiki conference for Great Lake. Uh, Great Lake, so it would be amazing. We are trying. Uh, we started to to discuss with the community from uh, Burundi. Uh, to see how they can, we can help so that they can be recognized. It will be very important for us because if we have a, 
a an official Wikimedia community. Uh, Burundi should be uh, interesting for us. And even apart from Burundi, we can also have uh, a Wikimedia community in Rwanda. We are trying to reach out to people in Rwanda. So if you guys are here, reach out, ask questions, and we're gonna help so that you can have uh, uh, a community and so that we can run a Great Lake Wiki conference. So these are some future goals that we have in uh, the user group. And I think if you have a user group in uh, your city or sorry, your, your, your country, try to think of uh, great goals you might have in the, the future in uh, two years or five years. Uh, what, what will be the, uh, the goals? So these are our three main goals. And uh, I can't thank you so much. I thank you so much for attending the session. I thank you so much for your attention to my session. So what can you get? What things I want you to understand in this presentation? Because I've discussed about main thing. In short, in this discussion, in this uh, presentation, I wanted you to get our experience, to get inspiration from us and to build your own community to build your strong your strong community this uh, this is what i want to by sharing this so you uh, we try to uh, to navigate everything from the country what we've done so far and where we where we come from where we are where are we going what what were lessons we learned on the way and so on we try to share with you all those amazing things Guys here, people from Africa, even from the world, Wikimedia from the world, we need your, your help. You can see here, we don't have so many communities. Can you see? So I, I, I'd be happy that after this talk, after this presentation, we can start building communities in those country, remaining countries here, so that after five years, I can see this map. I can have another look on this map. So it's very important for me to see uh, this uh, <clears throat> in five years, if I can see uh, this all green or even blue, because guys from Cote d'Ivoire, guys from uh, Nigeria and so on, we want you, we want you guys to, uh, to help so that we can have chapters, so that we can have user groups recognized by the foundation. It's amazing. So I can't thank you so much for all what you've done so far. And uh, it's amazing. It's very important for me to, to share with you. Thank you. Uh, now, uh, if you got questions, if you want to reach out to us, you can find our mailing list in there. But no, we are on Twitter too. You can reach out to us and uh, we can uh, speak. We can share and so on. So thank you for joining this session. Now, if you have questions, over to you. Now I can see some questions. The first one is, uh, can you hear me? I cannot, uh, no, no. Ooh, boom, 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 boom. Yeah, the first question, I don't know, uh, is Nixon Mukoko meant to be here with you, Abel? Uh, not at all. I don't. I, I, we didn't discuss that I could uh, join me uh, in this session. Uh, okay. Say that we can just wait for people to, in case there might be some questions. <clears throat> I don't see questions from people. 
Uh, let me just see questions from people. What do they say? Can you tell us? Oh, okay. Oh, Amir. <laughs> Thank you, Amir, I, for joining the session. And uh, I, I, I know that Amir did, uh, did help us also for local languages. So uh, as I can see, uh, can you tell us about the local language of your country, Lingala, Kikongo, Chiluba, Swahili, etc.? How much are they used online? How much do people read Wikipedia? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, <clears throat> yes, thank you, Ami, for the, the, the question. Uh, oh, let me see the question. I want to see. <clears throat> yeah, uh, about local local languages, uh, we have uh, four main local languages, as uh, Ami has just written there. We have uh, Lingala, Swahili, Chiluba, Kikongo. So, on the internet, uh, People are using mainly French and sometimes English, but mainly French on uh, internet for research, uh, for official communication and so on. But on social media, people are using uh, whatever language they want. So uh, as Lingala is uh, the language from the, 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 the capital city, so people try to use it more, Lingala and the bits uh, Swahili people are using. And uh, Kikongo, Swahili, uh, Chiluba, yes, they, they are spoken to on the media. They use it because every day you have uh, a new uh, news in uh, those four languages. So these are uh, the use of uh, the language in the city. <coughs> uh, the second question is from um, mm, how many members do you have in the group okay basai oh thank you uh from the the whatsapp group because whatsapp uh, is uh, where people are uh, well active people are joining i can say because uh, we can have the mailing list, people can join, but the most active of them try to join WhatsApp group. So WhatsApp group, we are around, uh, uh, yes, around uh, uh, 50, 40 or 50 on uh, WhatsApp, WhatsApp group. And sometimes we use Telegram, but among all those uh, 40 or 50 people, the most active, are uh, not more than 10 because sometimes you see uh, people try to contribute so many people contributing and then uh, apart from that you'll see that uh, in some periods they don't contribute they are not active anymore so uh, the most active of us are less than 20 uh, sorry 10 less than 10 so uh Harriet Bayele, thank you for your question. Uh, <clears throat> what has been the strategy to maintain new volunteers aside offering words of encouragement? <laughs> okay, I can see that the time is, the, this question is very interesting for me. The strategy to maintain, uh, it's not easy, let me tell you the truth. It's not that easy to maintain volunteer uh creating awareness in the Wikipedia, wikimedia movement is not that easy so what we've done so far apart from encouragement we were trying to we tried to to give award to award some uh, internet packages to people uh, if you for instance in the month we see that you you've done a lot of, in terms of uh, edits you can say okay you have this uh, internet package uh, that can help you. Thank you. We will have a